Our honeycomb piece? What the heck? There's a pickpocket employee in Mumbo's skull. He's doing a great job of hiding himself. Hi, Mumbo! Mumbo, you want some candy? Hop in! <laughs> Mumbo's like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, Mumbo, I'm so excited to meet you! Oh my god! <laughs> Mumbo's just totally unfazed. He's like, first weird rat feeny enters my skull, and now sentient van. This has been weird day for Mumbo. <laughs> Anyhow, at the far side of here is another one of these guys and the last Globo that we'll need to give to Mumbo. We can't give it to Mumbo as a van, though. Alright, so our, we have the world entry and exit we hit behind the big top tent, the space zone. Outside Mumbo's wigwam, and then this one is outside Mumbo's skull. We're going back to the world e entry and exit. Hey, lady. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, but I'll only talk to Banjo or Kazooie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I will talk to literally nobody else on the planet except Banjo and Kazooie. That makes sense. There's another van door in this area. Honky honky. And we get another purple ginger. All right, I think there's some. I think there's a, lot, a final van door in the space zone, and then we also need to get the last couple of tickets. Can I at least have more burgers? Sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not allowed to serve your kind. Wow! What do they got against vans? There we go. Four tickets we need for Konga's Big Top. Alright, yep, here's a van door. And that has the treble cleft inside. Not that we really needed it. I don't think there's a van door in here. <laughs> That's still destroyed! <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Also, the Minjos can change color. I'm not sure if they change color just when you leave the room and come back, or if you, when you leave the world and come back. But sometimes a ninja will be one color, then you come back, and it'll be a completely different color. That's also way, another way of detecting if there's a ninja or not. If there, if you see a colored ninja and you've already saved all the members of that colored ninja's family, you know for a fact that it's a ninja. All right, that's everything we can do with the van for now. Believe it or not, we will actually have to turn into the van again in the future. But for now, that's all we can do. Alright, thanks, Wamba. That transformation is amazing, but... <laughs> Banjo's not doing the backstroke. When Banjo turns into something particularly large, he'll oftentimes be in a different pose when he leaves the pool than usual. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but if, if not, it sure is funny. Alright. Now we desperately need Mumbo to open up the rest of the world for us. On top of which, we really should talk to this uh, bear over here. Also, there's a switch here. If we press it... It'll create a shock jump disc at the top of the slide, which we need in order to get the jiggy up top. But as soon as we step off of it, this shock jump disc explodes. So we need to have uh, just Banjo holding that down. Thank goodness you came! I'm really hungry! Don't you think you've had enough? No way! I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Oh, you've got some burgers! Please, 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 can I have one? Will you give me some food? No. You nasty bear! I really need that burger! I don't think you do. Oh, you've got some burgers! Please, 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 can I have one? All right, fine. 
Yummy. Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little, uh, full, shall we say. My tummy hurts. Please carry me back to mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. Yeah, we literally can't, um, take him back to his mom right now. We all have to come back after learning a new move. Ah, stupid kid. Oh, brother. Yeah, so, um, this kid, he can either be here in the Inferno, he can also be in that little inlet in the space zone I pointed out earlier, and he can be right at the entrance to the train station. Alright. This is risky, because this is actually a very difficult Jiggy to get without coming back, uh, after learning a new move. Or at the very least, after getting more HP, but we're gonna try it now. So we're gonna have Banjo step on this switch here. Use the Swap Cloud to go over to Kazooie. Now, here's the problem. Kazooie needs to go all the way up to the top. The problem is, this slide here is very narrow, and these little hotheads on the magic carpet will hit us along the way and lower HP. I found the easiest way to do that is to just jump around them. However, guess what? That can also very easily cause you to fall. So I found the easiest way is to just jump and uh, hover while uh, going to the inside of the slide. There's just enough of a gap there that you'll oftentimes be able to make it through. Not always, though, so be careful of that. I hate their laughs, too. Well, it seems they're enjoying the Inferno slide. Yeah, sometimes they'll hit you anyways. But at least we're close to the top. They want you to use the turbo trainers to get to the top, but doing that will make it way easier for them to hit you. Alright, we made it up. And there's our prize. Now, unfortunately, we have to get down. And we can't use the Banjo Ground Pound to avoid all fall damage, because we don't have Banjo with us. So we just gotta run back down. This slide does not look safe, nor does it even particularly look like a slide. All right, Banjo. Banjo's over by this switch. That's right. All right, that's another Jiggy. Normally I have to come back after... Uh, <laughs> normally I have to come back after I get some more HP, because Kazoo Kazooie by herself has almost no HP. One of her main big weaknesses. But she's pretty fun to use besides that. I'm happy we got that. All right, off to Mumbo's Sculpt. Mumbo's gonna be helpful in this world for sure. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo! Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Pull up your pants, Mumbo. <laughs> Take out your magic staff. Alright. Yeah, Mumbo is going to be quite helpful in this world. There are three things we need to use Mumbo for, and all of them are related to the space zone. <laughs> but first things first, we're gonna pay Wumba a visit with Mumbo. You'll remember in the last world we couldn't warp inside uh, Wumba's wigwam with Mumbo because it said Mumbo's not welcome in there. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens. Mumbo not welcome. Leave now or be in big heap trouble. <laughs> really? Mumbo wants to become a van. Mumbo get out of pool. <laughs> Apparently there's some um, enmity between Mumbo and Humba Wumba. Just a little bit. Alright. First we're gonna warp to the world entry and exit. <laughs> Maybe Mumbo can tell Mrs. Boggy about her kid being too fat to move. Sorry, but I'll only talk to Banjo or Kazooie. Oh, that's right. She she has shunned the rest of the world. She won't even talk to her husband. All right. So the first Mumbo pad is over here in the bunker 51. Mumbo's power here is well. Hope this works. Mumbo's power here is power. Power, the saucer of peril. This is a pretty cool power. He's gonna sit here, dance, and chant, and then...
He summons lightning from heaven on a cloudless night to power up the Saucer of Peril Ride. Because this is where the Saucer of Peril Ride finishes. Beautiful. Now this area gets a little more brightly lit as well, now that the lights are working. And then the other two are in the space zone. As you can see, this world is quite a bit lengthier than the last two. Even when I know what to do. <laughs> Don't mess with Mumbo. Alright. Hope this works. Now we're gonna power up the Dodge Em Dome. So the reason I said to climb the Dodge Em Dome earlier is because once you power it up, uh, the electricity will be running through that pipe and it can, uh, and it can shock you. It makes it a little tricky to climb up. Just a little bit. See that little, like, blue part on the pole? That'll now occasionally electrocute you. So this will open up the way to the Dodge'em Dome. Mumbo wants to play. Mumbo wants to play. So this is the Dodge'em Dome lobby. Unfortunately, now we need to pay here. This is annoying because it basically... You can't reach Mumbo until you turn into the van and pay to get to the Inferno, but then you can't reach the pay in here until you become Mumbo. So this does add unnecessary backtracking, which is annoying. But very minor complaint with an otherwise amazing world. Do, 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 do. So this area of the Star Spinner is very dark. I want to light it up, and we also will need to power it up if we want to climb to the top. Hope this works. Power the Star Spinner. Man, everything in the Space Zone ran out of power. Literally everything in the Space Zone ran out of power. And so did so. And then again, so did the the Bouncy Castle. We had to physically pump that up. So there's a jiggy at the very top here, and that'll start spinning around. Ooh, I like the I like this area with like the night sky and all of the decorations. It actually looks really cool. And look at how much brighter this area is. It's much prettier now. I like the purple crystals. Alright, nicely done, Mumbo. You powered up the amusement park and Grunty's revenue is gonna go through the roof. <laughs> I love the idea of Grunty just having a crazy amusement park that she runs in her spare time. Oh, wait, here's a question. Can Mumbo enter Grunty, Madam Grunty's tent? I really hope so. Also, can Mumbo attack these things? Mumbo can... Mumbo can destroy those things, too. That's not good. If we enter Madam Grunty and get a beating... Oh, no, it's closed. Oh no, a 30 degree incline. <laughs> but if there's a path going through it, no problem. Just warp back to your skull, Mumbo. Also, I'll just show off. If you jump in the lava, it will burn you. It'll only make you lose one HP, and now Mumbo dies in the lava near his skull. That was actually kind of gruesome. But if Mumbo dies, he will warp back to outside of his skull. 